Uh, thank you very much. It's so wonderful to be here, and I want to thank the Rhode Island Coalition and Homelessness for inviting me uh, to join today for this really exciting announcement. I want to recognize all of the wonderful partners in this work who are in the room. I'd also like to acknowledge Senator Cruz, and of course, a special welcome to Senator Reed, who um, has, has been a champion for housing, not only for Rhode Island, but really one of those powerful voices in the country advocating for housing at every level and a great champion of the pay for success model from the very early days. So, great honor. Welcome. <laughs> for my first time to welcome him to, uh, to the Rhode Island Foundation. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. As uh, many of you know, uh, the cornerstone of the Rhode Island Foundation is its ability to help identify and address the most pressing issues impacting our community while also utilizing resources and leadership to help improve the lives of all Rhode Islanders now and for future generations to come. And the housing crisis that we are facing in Rhode Island requires us to look at and support flexible solutions that meet the immediate need, long-term solutions, and also innovative pathways to housing like the Pay for Success program. And so we're really hopeful that our seed grant of $300,000 will enable House of Hope, East Bay Community Action Program, Open Doors, and Crossroads, Rhode Island, uh, to help people who have high utilization of healthcare, who interact with the justice system and other homeless services, and to really help them turn their lives around. The goal is to prove it's possible to diminish the cost of serving people whose exceptionally complex needs lead to homelessness while also improving their lives. And I think this is gonna be an exciting demonstration of how we can do that work effectively. This will produce a really substantial positive impact on the individuals that participate in the pilot <laughs> while establishing the pace of success model here in Rhode Island and re really proving the viability here in our state and hopefully opening the door for additional programs in the future while increasing the potential for external investments to benefit our state on so many critical issues. So the success of this program is not only gonna impact the people who participate, but it will really create many more opportunities for us to do uh, this work in this way in lots of other areas. Uh, I just want people to know that the Rhode Island Foundation as the state's community foundation uh, will continue to focus on solutions to the housing crisis, including the support for pay for success uh, program, <coughs> but also we just announced yesterday $100,000 in flexible funding uh, to provide grants to eight local nonprofits as they seek to help Rhode Islanders on the verge of homelessness uh, meet basic needs. Um, alongside opening the Pat Home Fund here at the foundation, uh, giving Rhode Islanders the opportunity to support this effort directly so Rhode Islanders who are interested can contribute. But this is to address that issue of folks that are literally one paycheck or one car repair away from losing their job and being homeless to kind of solve those problems quickly to keep people housed. Um, and also we're supporting innovative strategies <laughs> like LISCs, housing as healthcare initiative alongside Blue Cross Blue Shield. And we've of course invested for many years in local community development corporations who really take the lead in building workforce housing and affordable housing all across our state. And so we're gonna to continue to do all that we can as Rhode Island's Community Foundation to support all of the champions doing this work in the community, but particularly excited today uh, as we uh, to participate in the launch of the Pay for Success program, which is really gonna change the way we think about um, solving some of the biggest challenges facing our state and keeping people and the well-being of people at the center of that work. So congratulations to everyone. Thank you to Make Home Capital, who's been absolutely central to this work. Thank you again to Senator Reed, whose early visionary support allowed this to get off the ground. And let's now get to work and make a great success of this program. Thank you.